Yo, what is going on guys, Nkuch here, and today I'm going to be showing you an easy method on killing Oryx for the challenge mode difficulty. As you guys know, last night with the reset, this part of the raid actually came out, and it surprisingly took me and my fire team a little under 3 hours to complete. I know that's way longer than some of you guys might have, I heard people finishing it in like 15 minutes, so bravo to you guys, but I thought if we're having this much trouble, there has to be a few people out there, a few fire teams that also don't know everything about this fight and maybe could use a few tips. For starters, the only difference to the challenge mode is that you cannot ignite four orbs or bombs, whatever you want to call them, at a time. So instead of doing four cycles where you do a quarter of his damage every single run, you have to ignite all 16 of them at the same exact time. And at first you're probably thinking, how the hell do you do that? The odds of all four orbs for each ogre lining up on each other is ridiculous to get in one run, and that's exactly what I was thinking. But if you kill the ogres as soon as they spawn, which is pretty much what you have to do if you don't want to rely on RNG, it's very, very simple. Once all the ogres are dead and the relic runner picks up the buff from the vessel, everybody wants to come on top of this platform that I'm standing on. Once you have a blessings of light bubble up there for obviously extra protection, you can go ahead and start shooting the vessel and all of the knights. Now in my case, I was the vessel shooter, so I was the only one that was worrying about him, while everybody on the platforms was taking care of their own knights that spawn after the ogres were dead. Once that happens and everyone's clear, you want to go ahead and shoot at Oryx, make him flinch, and then after that all you have to do is shoot all the adds that spawn. Now, be very careful because they're going to keep spawning and if you don't kill them, they're going to overrun the entire area. And after this, Oryx goes straight ahead and teleports you into the shade. So there's not going to be any running phase. It's going to get very hectic and you got to make sure that the area is as clear as possible. From this point on, everything's the same except you're actually going to go ahead and skip the running part. You know the part where those bombs are chasing you and if you don't run and jump, you're going to die? Well, you actually end up skipping that part and going straight into the shade of oryx you're gonna get teleported one by one everything is the exact same just kill it and don't let thrall inside as you guys can see we fast forwarded to our fourth run or our fourth wave of ogres we're killing them as we speak and there are now going to be four bombs stacked up on top of each other this is one of the only ways that you can actually kill oryx for the challenge mode difficulty once you're done this you're gonna want to go ahead and flinch oryx yet again but this time give your teammates a countdown from five to zero once you're at zero every single one of your teammates should already be in the proximity of the bombs ready to detonate them and once they step inside all of the 16 bombs will go off at once triggering oryx's health to go from 100 to zero real quick once that's done you're gonna go back to the middle shoot him one more time in the chest and enjoy your delicious rewards. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Stick around if you want to see what I ended up getting. As always, drop a like if this helped you out. Subscribe for more daily Destiny content. And as always, Ankuch out. Yeah, I got a hot one. Wow, I got some chum.